Hello everyone. This is VBP. That is Virtual Business Portal software. Um, this demonstration is just to show how to integrate uh, your SMH providers API with our software. Um, as you as we've said, our software can can be integrated with um, any APIs of our choice. So, um, having said that, I'm just going to simply take us through the process of doing it. So it's very simple, and I'm going to um, tell you the um, principles behind them so that we can um, know how to configure them. So, um, what we have here is you can see I went to the SMS angle, then um, clicked on SMS APIs, which is where we, we're going to be doing. But here now, we are going to be uh, enabling two APIs. That is the D and D and the non D and D. What is D and D? D and D means do not disturb. Do not disturb. Um, these do not disturb means that you know some customers might not want all these promotional emails or sorry promotional sms rather so when they don't want that they enable the d and d and um it means that if you try to send them a promotional messages they would not get it you understand so but still there are some routes routes that um companies or organizations such as banks they use to send um, a lot of messages so this route is what is called the and the route. You understand? So that's I'm going to be showing you both ways. Of course, that will depend on your API provider. So if your API provider says he or she you know, that she develops, she delivers to D and D, then fine, they can go all the way to do that. You understand? They can go all the way to do that. So you can just use the API and then integrate. So when you are integrating. You will have to do something very important. So I'm just going to go ahead now and create the DND first. So right now you can name it any name, but you have to put this DND there. It has to be that way. It has to be that format, or else the system won't be able to identify that this is D and D route. So if a user comes to your platform and clicks on D and D to be sent to 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 use as the uh, message sending route. And you didn't configure it in the right way then you are going to have problem because it's going to uh, result into an error either a 500 error or a, a, a an error that will say something something nasty so for you to be able to bypass that uh it's just simple just add the dnd so just add the dnd and um, I'm just going to paste a, a, a URL here for you to just see. So I'm just going to paste it. It's just for demo purposes. It's not it's not really for for anything or for promotional um, things. You understand? I'm just going to I'm going to black out some things there so that um, we can just we can understand that we can actually fill in anything there. So. Um, now we have something like this. Many of us that are using SPC may have known that this uh, one of the SPC's um, URL was. Well, that's not the topic of what we're saying. We're just trying to say, say that we can actually use any messaging URL. You understand API? Any message? Any SMS API with this software? So we can actually use any messaging or any yeah any any messaging API with with this. So far the pro the have uh, it has the sender, the destination or the to, as this software is concerned, and the message that you are trying to send. You understand? So these are the things that are very important. Of course, your uh, provider might give you an API key instead of a username and a password. May give you a username or user ID and uh, a 
and an API key to use. So you all have to just put it in here. So like I said, I was going to blank out some things which I already did. So I blanked out this, I blanked out. So using a demo here. So I blanked out that. So now this API amount per SMS. So now this amount will determine how much you'll be deducting from um, the user's wallet. You understand? So you need to set those things right. So right now I'm just going to leave it at two. The default there is two, but the two does not necessarily mean that's the standard. It's not the standard, but we we just set it there for for setting C. Let's just put it that way. So um, the API response here is is the response you will get after you've tried to send this um, this API this uh, API BLE. Okay, now by BLE I mean that you can just grab this URL, copy and just paste on a browser to see the response. So any res any actual response there would be um, used. You understand? The actual response there will be used for to to be inputted here. But one thing I would advise that you should take note of is that make sure that it's something very very unique, something that can identify that the message has been sent successfully. So some APIs might give you a long sentence. You don't need to input the long sentence inside the API response. All you need to do is to get a very unique um, response, a very unique uh, word, word, a very unique word or figure that you know that, okay, okay, uh, example, some, some API would return 1701, some API will return um successfully sent some api will return uh okay some api will return uh success and so on and so forth you understand so just i need to pick a unique that will be different from any other response that might be or that might or will be gotten from the re the api you the, the the api response you are using you understand so i think that's that's very clear Except it is not clear. You can drop your comments on YouTube or you can contact us directly so that we can clarify that part. So we are actually making this video so that we avoid the, uh, the, the customer queue load on our end so that we can um, face the development of this. Um, we can face the improvements on this um solution so because that is very important to us so that we can give you the best so after that being said i'm just going to click on okay here and click on activate and i'm going to just save it so that way we are done with our first api you understand so right now i said this for the d, d and d so for the D and D, by D and D, I mean that uh, on the front end, on the front end, your user would be able to choose um, their route, their preferred route. So they have to choose either they choose the D and D route or they choose the default or the, the, the ordinary route. So I'm just going to copy and paste the same thing over and over again. So you can use same api for the for for boot route well that's that's just that's all all you you understand that's all you does not really matter so if you're but you know that will mean more money for you because <laughs> you're using one api you'll be using one stone to kill two bed so you'll be telling two different costs so for, for that now i use for the for the dnd i used to right now i'm gonna use one just for demonstration purpose only not that that's how you should set it because your amount or your cost per sms would depend on your api provider you understand so now this has been set so on the front end now your user can send sms so far these urls are correct the credentials are correct else 
they will act, they will be getting uh, filled, not sent. You understand? So this it's very important to note. This is very important to note. So um, that's that for SMS. So we we are we making the next video on uh, airtime recharge. So we please note the important things here. You should know the sender. That is the way the system will identify. It has to be this way. It has to be this way. The system will identify the system the the the. the 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 send the numbers the person the user is sending to that way so sender to message and like that so with that being said i think that summarizes the um sms apis part and the next video will be on um etl sorry airtime as um, said earlier. So thanks for watching. Be right back and stay tuned. Kindly subscribe to the channel because you'll be rolling out updates so you won't want to miss them. Thank you very much.